Hello and welcome back to the ear tutorial. This is part two, so let's get to it. Disable your turbo smooth, unhide all, and hide the face, I guess. And today we will, well, we don't need the front part because the last part we didn't match up quite well. So take that out and let's continue on from here. Uh, start this way, I guess. And then we'll go all the way around. This is going to be the center uh, top part of the ear. So just uh, keep going all the way around until you're finished at the bottom here. And then uh, start moving on with the back side of the ear. Looks like this part is going to get real tight, and so we're going to have to manage our vertices uh, to match the center of the ear here. So, or we can change it, change the flow, so that this is going really in the back of the ear, and then this might be the center of the ear. So, it really depends on how we should put things. Excuse me. All right, so keep it going until we're almost finished. 
looks like this is going to be the back of the ear now, I believe. Or the bottom. And then that will go right into the earlobe over here. Okay. Just continue on. Uh, I know you can't see uh, from the side view, so just do the perspective view. And we shall eyeball it. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so where does this go? Keep it going. This part's usually tricky. You gotta know when to decide uh, when it connects back into the face. I guess uh, over here, I believe. Kind of blends into the face at this point. And so, what we do from here is just uh, spread it out like that until we close it off over here or what we do from there, I guess. Uh, we shall see what happens. Uh, manage your polygons here better. I guess this shall be the back of the earlobe, or this could be the center. Really depends on how you want to do this. Okay, so that's one row, and let's continue with another one. Fun stuff, huh? Okay, so depending on where your ear joins the face, I, I could see that this here is joining up with the face. So I think we might want to start from here and then work our way down to the back of the earlobe. And maybe this we can manage towards the face, but uh, I'll know when I get there. So at this stage here, we're gonna eyeball things up a bit and uh, See what we can do. And speed things up by grabbing a few. Uh, maybe just three. Shift and drag this way. Oh, not that way. Maybe this way. And just do as best you can. Target weld those two together. And then you just uh, adjust just each one make things a little faster instead of doing poly by poly just make sure that you uh, adjust them before moving on to the other ones okay process maybe three again shift and drag adjust process
I think we're by the earlobe now, so this part's tricky, like I said before, just gotta determine where <coughs> it uh, comes down, so damn throat, I should go to a doctor or something, screw that. Okay. Okay, so we're at the earlobe, and uh, <coughs> we'll determine. I think this part will blend into the face now. I think. I hope so. Better. So just go over here and finish her off. Uh, just close it up and worry about the end result later. Okay, so let's fix it up. Alright, this goes here. This goes like that, maybe. Let's see. Maybe this can come in a bit. Create that that uh, bulgy flesh that can come in. This will now join the face, I believe. I think that should do it. Really depends on how big that is on this ear there. So seems to fit. Now uh, we will readjust everything together uh, uh, towards the end, but maybe it's a good maybe it's a good uh, time to do it now. If I go like this and oh, keep that there. If I go like this and just readjust this uh, ear, match the reference. This will by doing this uh, when you uh, do your projection mapping. I'm sure this will serve you well once at that stage. Before you project map though, I suggest that you unwrap your head first and then do your projection and realign these polygons to match the uh, image. And that's maybe I'll do a tutorial on that later. Maybe, I'm not sure. Depends. Depends. Okay, so where are we? Seems a bit thick, right? But uh, we'll we have to readjust everything later. Maybe these like stick out even more. Don't know. See what happens. So play with those later. Our main concern now is the back of the head. This is the tricky part. So, he, at this stage, you just constantly uh, readjust your earlobes here. Because I believe this part's uh, probably thin. Okay, well, let's continue on. Okay, so back of the ear. It's tricky because I have no references at the moment, so I'm just gonna have to really just eye it out. Oh boy. Okay, let's do it. Let's just drag this one here. Like that. That'll give us the little rim. And then you just continue on. Bring her in, get that rim going. I believe it's like this. And 
then I think it comes out a bit towards the end of the ear. It really depends on whose ear you got, right? And it should pop out a bit. I'm gonna create another reference point on where that that ballsy flesh comes out in the back of the ear, sort of like this, and it comes out like that. And then that's it looks sort of like almost like a teardrop back here. And then you just uh, line it up afterwards. I could be wrong. Uh, like I said, I don't have a reference at the moment. I'm just gonna see what I can do. I think that this shall blend into the face. By doing this, maybe I can bring this here. Let's see. This goes here, that goes here. Maybe this comes closer. And I think this part here is going to go right onto the face area or the back of the head. Maybe I'll have to readjust everything again later on. Just gotta get this into shape. And then I believe this part's the fat area, and then it kind of blends back into the ear. Yeah. And then it blends into the f head. If not, then I think I can extend this one over into here, but it's gonna be really tight. And then we blend that into the head area. So I think I'll do that later. But uh, let's just close this up here. Maybe this part's a bit more deeper down than what it is there. 
we can do that now or see what happens. Maybe it comes out like this. That's crazy. Bring this down, I guess. Put up that later. close this off maybe we can uh, maybe just uh, one more and then maybe close it off here oh not this far just this one here Maybe you can close it like this. <clears throat> okay. Hopefully I'm right. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, then I'll fix it later. short maybe I did Let's extend this a bit more. Delete this. Extrude this one more over. One more down, maybe. I believe this goes into the head, I think. So you just uh, bring those out, and then you attach this to the head later, and uh, see what happens from there.
So you just uh, bring this way down a bit like this. And so that uh, later we'll just join that to the head. As you can see, that's part of the head right now. And slowly make its way out. And then I think it slowly dives in here like this. Then it gets a deep back here. Probably deep, deep like this or something. Maybe we can use this strand to uh, join it up with the head. And then we'll close it off. See what happens. So I'm just going to keep going. It's really tight back here. Just manage your polys. My main concern here is maybe we can fix this area a bit more than what it is. Maybe we can dive that in a bit more inside the ear and give it a close, pretty much close to this area here so that it'll give us more of a, a detail area. this out a bit more maybe Later on, we're going to have to adjust this area. It really depends how fat this area is. Some, something like this. Getting there real slowly. Okay, so keep it going. Almost there. Just a little bit of confused on <clears throat> where these polys are gonna go. So I always confuse myself like this, but I 
tend to push myself forward and and I will adjust everything later when I get down to that path because right now this is to the head we can always manage these later and that's towards the ear alright so this, like I said this part here is always tricky I think we're gonna have to really blend it down to the face area so what I mean by that is just uh, go weld this here and really really push this out more sort of like this or something and then that that will blend to the face sort of like this area here too as well maybe this part could serve um, towards the jawline and uh, kind of gives maybe also the neck muscle maybe that we can use that for but uh, eventually we're gonna have to close this off right so we've got to keep going till we finish up the loop So too, I guess. All right, so maybe this can close up here like that. And then you just readjust it <clears throat> like this. And that goes towards the face. Let's see now. All right. You can either go this way, extrude this whole thing out like that, uh, weld it up, close that area off. This core, this goes towards the face area. Really spread these out like this. Does it like this or something? I believe maybe this comes out too, so like that. And that should come in. this go hmm would I just go that towards the jawline do I have enough polys we'll have to see I'm talking like going this way right and then go all the way down to the jawline and then maybe this will serve as the neckline in the future there. Maybe we can just leave it like this for now. And uh, it'll give us a smooth transition to the ear into the face. Now this part here is sort of bugging me. Just gotta readjust everything. And uh, maybe push this out a bit more. Oops. 
maybe like this. This can come over over here and uh, kind of give it that bubble look, I think, because your ear kind of sticks out like that and kind of dives into here. Okay, I'm gonna leave it like this, and uh, oh, what about this area? That's part of the face. Well, maybe I can close it off like this. That serves to the face. Hmm, interesting. Now I remember. Alright, so this one has to go towards the face. Go like this. Uh, maybe this can serve as here. This could be a well to there. And then maybe you could just pull them out to match the face area. This part should be really tight to the face. And it sort of dives in back there. If not, then we'll have to change things around. Maybe it'll work like this. Maybe now we can close this off here. Extrude this over and then close this off. Huh? Oh, stupid video card. Okay, and that should serve towards the face. Here it depends. You can also uh, manage these polys later fit into the face so it should work fine all right oh, where'd you go get back here okay so this is our ear and we'll leave it at this for now we have so much polygons on each end here to uh to attach to the head later on uh, we'll eventually have to manage this uh, quite a lot right now it's not perfectly matching up to the head but uh it's almost there right all right see so you can see that this area here is a bit longer these two little guys so you just drop them down like this got these two guys bring them down
looks like these guys go really inwards like this sort of like that maybe deeper as well and if we're doing that then we're uh, really pushing that away from our reference uh, I think we can totally fix that later by just grabbing these and just push them back down so that's the ear I hope you enjoyed this part two of the tutorial and uh, eventually we will have to readjust everything so that it fits to the face area okay so in the next tutorial we will uh, continue on with the face we'll do the back of the head roughly and then actually then we will continue on with the neck area the neck muscles and we'll go as far as up to here and uh, We'll attach that to the ear and I think we shall be done. So uh, I'll be back with another tutorial about that and I uh, hope you enjoyed this one. Take care.